Okay, we are here at the launch of Vesha's event and we are here with Sean Andrew. So Sean, you know basically everyone sees you and they see this fine man, you know. How do you deal with uh, all that? Girls are just flocking and they're just like, we want this person, we want to meet this guy. I mean, I'm just a gentleman. Anyone can approach me and say hello and I'll appreciate it. I'll say hi back. Uh, I, I don't know what else to add, but I'm just a humble gentleman, that's all. Maybe before uh, we get to that, I would like to know, what is your relationship with Vesh? Of course, you're here for her event. I'm sorry, what? I would like to know, what is your relationship with Vesha? You're here to support her for her event. Oh, well, yeah, I'm good friends with her sister, Rue. And they invited me to come over, and I think it's a fantastic venture they've come into. And I also think it's a wonderful location they've got. Uh, Promenade is a very beautiful building and General Madenge is an excellent road. Everyone uses General Madenge. If you're not in Nairobi, you, I don't know why you wouldn't know General Madenge. But I'm happy they're here. It's a wonderful place. What's outstanding about the place, apart from maybe the location? What's outstanding about the place? I mean, the architecture, the people that come, the restaurant outside, I mean, they'll feel a bit neglected because their wine is not as good as the wine here at Chateau, for sure. Have you tried this already? Oh, yes. I have sampled a few, but I'm sober. <laughs> I drink responsibly, of course, yeah. Okay, uh, moving forward, uh, Sean, of course, we used to know you with the signature dreadlocks that you used to have, but unfortunately, they are no longer there. Yes. I'd like to know, uh, where did you come to such a decision? Well, I'm surprised you're asking me this question a year later. Yeah, because I've never, you refused my interview. <laughs> uh, I'm very hard to find, unfortunately. But um, I had to get rid of the dreadlocks because of reasons I stated on my Instagram. However, just to shorten that statement, I needed to get rid of them because of the negative connotations that come with the dreadlocks. I am myself. I am not my hair. So I should not be defined by my hair, nor should anyone. And I think uh, my, my message will be heard clearly without being associated with negative connotations. Yeah. Probably maybe you would have been on the, uh, on the front uh, trying to show people that people with dreadlocks, they are not necessarily criminals. No, they're not. We're all people. You shouldn't judge a book by its cover. And I think it's quite unfair that already you see someone with a certain appearance and you judge them by that. You know, people always label people as weirdos or whatever. I don't believe in the concept of weirdness. I think many people are misunderstood. And I think we should just have a bit more openness coming to understand each other. That's all. Yeah. At any point you ever found yourself in any situation where people misunderstood you because of the dreadlocks? Uh, no, I can't speak publicly about that. <laughs> but I think, yeah, there's several situations where people misunderstood me. And it's not the message I'm here to portray. Yeah. Maybe as we move forward, uh, there was a time he has, uh, she has mentioned that, uh, of course, you're a nice guy, you look good and everything. There was a time you posted on your Instagram uh, stories that you are dating sites and everything. Uh, I'd like to know. Uh, I'm dating what? You, you posted you're dating, uh, you're on dating sites. No, no, I left them. Uh -huh. I posted that I left them uh -huh. because they were rubbish interactions. <laughs> Let's be honest. If, if you're on a, are you on a dating site? I've never been in one. Are you on a dating site? Don't you find the interactions a bit rubbish? It's all conversation and it never leaves the app. You don't meet in person. So where are you making nice con uh, connections, worthy connections? So your preference is generally organic conversations? Yes, we're humans. We communicate in person. There's no business about being um, locked in these electronic devices. When you're making a genuine connection with someone, you need to talk face to face. You need to touch, you need to feel, you need to understand all five senses. And I don't think you get that from the app. What was 
the main reason you ended up in the app? Was it because uh, you couldn't find uh, maybe uh, fine girls out here or what was that? The answer is simple, it is peer pressure. <laughs> Simply peer pressure. Even as adults, our friends still pressure us into things. And um, unfortunately, I mistook myself in these apps and I left. And I think you should leave also. Did you ever get into a relationship with someone uh, in the site to an extent of meeting or it never happened? No, it was absolutely useless. I think, um, I think it was, it was ungeneric. I think we just swiped out of looks. We didn't understand who we were, what we spoke about. You meet beautiful people but they are boring and that's unfortunate. I think it's better to meet people in person. As we speak right now, uh, have you met one in person or not yet? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, a lot of people publicly want to know that. But unfortunately, no. I am still... Searching, searching. I'm not searching actively. <laughs> I am just myself. Uh, I'm sure you're not in any relationship. No, I'm, building my, I'm building my own legacy. And until I find a decent, good partner to build a legacy with, I am in no hurry to find someone. What are the qualities uh, you look uh, when looking for a partner? No, you're making the game too easy. <laughs> no, we're just asking exactly. <laughs> no, no, no. We don't. We don't. We don't make the game too easy. You come as you are, and and you find out. Yeah. Uh, Sean, recently there is an incident uh, that happened uh, to our former president's um, son. Uh, where it was an issue of firearms and everything. I would like to know uh, yourself, uh, have, have your security, how do you manage uh, to ensure that you are secure wherever you are? Are you licensed to any firearms or you just work as you are? No, no, no. I don't think we comment about our security publicly. But... Um yeah, Jomo is uh, someone I know personally, and I think he was unfairly targeted. I am not going to pick sides politically or anything, but I think Jomo is innocent, and so is Mama Gina. They should not have targeted anyone unrelated to what they, their disagreements are. I think these are grown men, and they should talk it out. They should not involve us in protests or anything. We have real issues. As human beings, as people of Kenya, we have real issues. And I think it's quite unfair that they've gathered young people to uh, gang up and die and protest and fight the police, fight the power, whatever. I think it's quite unfair because they're grown men. They can discuss these issues. Why did we elect them? We elected them to serve us. And that's what Kenyan people have forgotten. These people are there to serve us. But anyway, I'm not a politician. I don't, I don't want to get in that mess. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> and I'd like to know, is it something that you'd like to get into? Never, uh, in f never, never, never. Reason being? I don't think, in Kenya, I don't think you need to be a politician to serve people publicly. I think you can help a great number of people without being a politician. And that's the way it should be. Uh, politics is an ugly business, unfortunately. They made it even uglier. And I'm not interested in that. I can serve people in my own way, privately, as a private citizen. As all Kenyans should. If you're able to support Kenyans, I think you must. What are some of the activities that you engage in that you believe you're able to serve your people uh, privately in? I, I don't believe in charity for the cameras. I, I don't I don't invite cameras to whatever charity events I do, but I I help out a lot, and I'm not going to just put them out there because they'll be favoured. I think whichever charitable thing you can support in your own right, whoever approached you or whoever you think you can support, you must do so. Thank you so much. You have a uh, thank you so much. We really appreciate for your time, uh, guys. Make sure you share this video. You subscribe. We we'll meet to the next one. Thank you. Thank you very much.